Hey everybody, it is Rav1 and I am with Missy. And as you can see on the side there, it is nighttime now. We've been filming today. We're doing a whole lot of videos all in a row. I think this is video number eight or nine. I don't know. It was light when we started and it's dark now. Um, but we have a cool video to you, for you today from Chrono Toys. Uh, this is a the high roller monthly mystery box for August 2020. Um, I not sure if there was a limit on these. Um, I got three of them. They were $20 a piece, so paid $60 for all three pops. Um, and with shipping, it cost $71.97, so it was like $11.97 to ship it out. The um, This is called the Chrono Toys TGIF High Rollers Plus Mystery Box. Oh, limit three per person, no exception. So I could only buy three, so that's what I got. Um, and, it, and it, it includes one exclusive pop, no commons at all in here, which means we should get close to our value back for each pops so and hopefully come out ahead. The top prizes for this one, though, were the Billy Bl Bloody Glow in the Dark San Diego, San Diego Comic Con exclusive. If we get that pop, that's like a five thousand dollar pop, guys. That'd be. This box feels heavy too. This box feels pretty heavy. Oh. Yeah. So I don't know. Maybe maybe there's a good hit in here. Um, the other big hit was uh, Ghost Rider Metallic San Diego, San Diego Comic Con exclusive and Dumbo Metallic, also an SDCC Metallic exclusive. Um, sorry guys, that's our cat. He's meowing at us for some reason. Um, so we're going to pop this open. We will uh, show you the pops we got first and then we will look up values. And while we're doing that, um, we actually have to go to another room to look it up because we're filming on my phone, so I can't look it up on the phone. There'll be no time that goes for you guys. It'll be instantaneous. You'll see the screen blur, and we'll come right back, and we will have that. And guys, we're going to pause for one second while we get this cat out of the room because he's meowing a lot. So we'll be right back. All right, guys, we're back. Uh, we got the cat out of the room. So like I said, we're going to open these up. We'll see what's in here, and uh, then we'll tell you the values of them. So uh, Chrono Toys does package all their pops in boxes, so we have three individual boxes. I'm still gonna close my eyes. Yeah, nothing feels heavy. I, I don't think any of these is in a, a hard stack protector. It doesn't feel like it. Um, yeah, I mean, this one you can actually even see through the box. It's just on a regular regular pop. So we'll do this one last. It feels the heaviest, sturdiest of it. And then we'll, we'll see what we got here. We'll do this one first, because like I said, I can already sort of almost see through the bottom of this, even through the bubble wrap. Chrono Toys is great because they do bubble wrap all of their, their pops up. They're not just in boxes. They're in bubble wrap in here. So you know you're going to have to protect the top. I don't know. All right. Let's put this box over here. First pop. Ooh. Okay, interesting. So we have Evil Inuasha. Evil Inuasha. Um, is there a sticker on there? It looks like a special edition sticker. Yeah, special edition sticker, so it's not a common pop. Um, this is a pop from 2020, though, so it's sort of relatively new. Box looks like it's in great condition, though, so hopefully that's a good hit. I honestly, I don't know anything. When we start talking anime pops like Dragon Ball Z, we get the, the Naruto, we get Fairy Tail, we've had Inuasha, Pokemon. Like, I'm not very well versed on those pops. Well, actually, I'm not the wrong way. So I really can't say just from looking at them unless I've had them before what they're worth. But some of those those anime pops have great value. Um, we actually just pulled a, a pop from our last box from Shumi, a Naruto pop uh, that we didn't know anything about, and it was actually worth 40 bucks. It's pretty crazy. So, all right, next pop. Huh. Speaking of anime, we have another, I saw the back of this. We have another anime pop here. All right, I'll show you guys here. This is from My Hero Academia. Another special edition. I can't read what it says though. It's written in white. It says Midnight. Oh, we saw on the back on the side here, huh? Yeah, on the front it's written in white, so it's tough to see, but on the side, <laughs> very easy to see. Um, okay, this pop is in like pristine condition. And perfect, like it's like near mint. And it's another 2020 pop, so. All right, first two pops. For me, a little underwhelming. Hopefully, they have some good value. And... Pop number three. Uh, 
Oh, I see what it is. We've had this pop before. It has pretty decent value, I think, still. Not super great, but not bad either. It's the special edition Pinocchio with Jiminy Cricket on his nose. So, not too bad. Uh, ooh, the pop does have some, a little bit of damage to the front. See it there? See the little streaks across it? So, I don't think the camera's gonna really pick that up. Maybe, I don't know if the light hits it right, but the, the, the front of the, the, the plastic actually has a little bit of like, like a little bit of a streak across it. So, makes it a little bit harder to, to say it's in mint condition. But, um, this is a 2019 pop. So we will look up the values. Um, like I said, we will be back in like literally a minute and uh, we'll, we'll tell you what we got. Um, not even a minute, you guys are gonna see them blur out, blur in, we'll be right back. All right. Hey guys, we are back. Uh, like I said, it was like a second for you guys. Um, so we looked these up. We have three pops. You have Evil Inua Inuasha. Evil Inuasha Special Edition is worth a whole $13. Yeah, 13 bucks. Pay 20 worth 13. Hmm. Midnight Special Edition from My Hero Academia is worth a whole $15. What? Yeah, so we paid 40 for these first two and we got 28 out of it. Um, That's not great. So Pinocchio, this is Pinocchio lying. That's why his nose is out with Jiminy Cricket on it. It's actually worth $26. So we actually made $6 on that one. So all in all, we paid 60 for these. We got 54 in value, um, so we lost six bucks. So not great. Um, you know, we actually, besides Pinocchio, haven't gotten any, any of these pops before, which is good, because a lot of times you get the same kind of pops over and over again, which is just good. Um, so we actually didn't do terrible in that regard, but the fact that we got the same pops again, I mean, uh, we got pops that were special editions that weren't really worth anything, not so great. Um, so, but that's, that's, that's sort of what you do when you're playing this kind of game. You know, you're really trying to go for that grill piece. Hopefully you're going to get it and we actually didn't hit this time. So, uh, but hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Hopefully you guys like watching us open these pops up and pulling out the mystery stuff. And if you are interested in like the Evil and Yuasha or the Midnight, they'll be available on my eBay store. If they haven't already sold yet, by the time this video comes out, you can check it out. And Pinocchio, all three of them are going to be on the, on, the, on the store for sale. So, um, as always, we'll have our video, guys. Little Miss Season, tell us what to do. Like. Yep. Subscribe. Yep. Ring the bell. Ring the bell. All right, guys. Thanks for checking us out. We really appreciate it. And you guys stay safe out there. Bye. Bye.